This is Phil with AndroidCentral.com, and that's Andrew with the Samsung Gear VR. So here's the deal. Samsung has teamed up with Oculus for the Gear VR, and it's basically a visor powered by the brand new Note 4. It slips in thusly and plugs in via the USB port, and it's actually powering the entire visor. It's using the battery, it's using the processor, and you pretty much kind of just strap it to your face. Now there's a not a lot we can show you. We can show you the little touchpad and the back button. Everything else happens inside the visor, inside the headset, right in front of your eyes, and you get this stereoscopic effect this almost virtual reality that really takes you inside. Uh, Samsung demoed a couple things for us. One is Coldplay playing, so you're standing about six feet away from Chris Martin as he's singing and doing his thing. Another one was a really cool uh, Marvel demonstration where you're wandering around Tony Stark's uh, workshop. Pretty, pretty neat. You can see all the Iron Man stuff, some of the things from Captain America, and you can put the little crosshairs on it and find out more information and play with it. Now, the limited titles at first, right? There are going to have to be more things involved here. And it's not just a matter of strapping this on and suddenly your phone is dancing in front of you. You have to work very closely with Samsung and Oculus to get any of this working at all. And it's a pretty neat thing. Now, you do kind of look goofy doing it as Andrew is very ably demonstrating and you can see for sound, he's using the Gear Circle Bluetooth headset. If you don't use a Bluetooth headset, and anyone will work, by the way, you will just hear the sound out of the speaker of the Note 4 itself. And the Note 4 is the only phone to work with this right now. That's partially because of the display. As you'll recall from our Note 4 hands-on, it's a quad HD display. But even then, the resolution really isn't all that great. You kind of get this weird, foggy sense of everything you're seeing. It's not to say it's bad. That's not to say it's not cool. It is. But it's not nearly the same as having this high-resolution virtual reality world that you might be envisioning. That said, it's pretty neat. There's kind of no other way to describe it. You really do have to experience this for yourself. We can guarantee you this, though. It's not going to be cheap, but on the other hand, anything this cool probably shouldn't be. That's it. We'll see you.